Hello everyone, uh, Storm here for another announcement video, and it's kind of, uh, kind of, um, I don't know if it's like so much worth an announcement video, but at least, you know, since I'm going to Broadcon, and since, yeah, more like a bunch of you guys going in there as well, I just thought, you know, make a little thing about this, and this is basically too, where I think just earlier, um, uh, Saturday, I, I think, yeah, as we said on Saturday, uh, Broadcon just released their official schedule for there, so, yeah, so, uh, I'll definitely leave a link, uh, to, like, um, you know, schedule on their website in the description below, those that I haven't seen, I don't know why, at least see a detailed, uh, version of that, and I actually just, uh, went and pr uh, printed out, like, 12 pages of the schedule here, where I tried to, you know, do, like, um, uh, the grid version of it, but I can only do, like, um, individual stuff where everything's, all side and all that stuff so yeah i just kind of uh, went through this and there's definitely a few things that definitely caught my eye where i definitely you know i checked in dallas but of course i can't quite recall when i was specifically going to be you know arriving in baltimore um i know i think we're late i want to say we're leaving something early in the morning so there's definitely a few things like that that's happening early on i definitely would like to check out um one of those things uh being the um the milo uh the milo tesla lightning is music uh thing going on um, it's that it's like um uh I think it's one of those things where you can show up one of those uh, Tesla machines you know it's like that like big uh, metal metal rod thing like in a little circ uh circular thing around it and you know it's just, it's just a line throughout that so I definitely like that kind of stuff so my uh check that I think that's um I I want to say let's see the Har let's see the Harmony Plaza uh neighborhood stage area so. Um, of course, yeah, there's some interesting names for, you know, the hall names in a certain eras, so I'm definitely got to, you know, really look into some of these names and whatnot. And also, um, I'm not too sure when I would check it out, but there's this game called Are You a Change and that'll be happening throughout, throughout the convention, where I think it's, you know, kind of trying to figure out who's a change in the group, so that definitely sounds like a whole lot of fun. And I think, I remember with my anime club, we played a similar game, but it's kind of, it's, uh, uh, a version, like, who tried to find who, who's a member of the Yakuza, uh, game, so that was fun, so this one sounds pretty interesting, so, let's see, where are things, uh, not too much there, um, oh, there's this thing, like, a thing in the, uh, pa pass, uh, I get, there's like, there's like, it's sort of like abbreviations or acronyms of each of the hall names here, so I do, I'm not too sure what it could be, uh, specifically, but at least, at least the acronym for pass, um, there's this thing called, like, CUNY Mark Bottle Cap Keychain thing is going on, so, more than likely, it's, you know, to help, help people make a bottle cap keychain, so that sounds pretty cool, so I might check that out. Um, then around 5 on Friday, there's this thing called, uh, Pony Guide Meditation, and I definitely like you do meditation slash, uh, yoga type stuff, so yeah, I'll definitely try to check that out. Then there also, there's this thing, thing going on at the same time called Riften is Magic, or Riffin is Magic, so that also sounds kind of cool, so, uh, let's, let's see how it goes. Then, um, then around 6, there's, uh, there's a Milo Karaoke thing going on, so I might also check that, check that, but then also at that time, there's, uh, um, and I think in the Chris, uh, the CCLB, uh, area, there's, a uh, Rainbow Dash's awesomest crash course with Alicia Balls, and, yeah, those who know, Rainbow Dash is my favorite pony, so, they were kind of interested to see that, you know, something done by the Forest Actors for our, our day, so, again, I'll the, um, look through all this, you know, decide where I'm gonna go, but at least get an idea, like, what I could be possibly doing, so, at least th those of you guys, you know, possibly wanna, uh, see me there, so, pay attention to where, what I'm talking about, because I might be there, so, yeah, and then around uh, 6.30 on Friday, there's this thing called How to Draw Ponies with the LP Drawing School, and those you also know, I do like, you know, draw, uh, draw, do a lot uh, certain, certain drawings that, you know, especially, you know, pony stuff, so I think I might uh, see, go with that, you know, get some tips on how to draw, draw ponies more properly, or whatever, and then, um... There's a thing around 7:30 over where the uh, Doctor Who's changed changing swar uh, swarm. Uh, I'm not obviously you know played like Doctor Who's. He's one of my favorite uh, background points. So um, I can't I can't rec recall the details for this. Again, I'll have to go through this again. But that definitely sounds interesting. So I might check that. Um, let's see episode. Okay, that's it. Um, let's see. Well, let's see. I I kind of like highlighted some of these. So yeah, okay. So I know like, you know. Uh, um, I'm, the, I'm not just looking through this first time. I already looked through this a couple times and marked a few of them. That didn't come my eye. And one that was dealt at 9.45 p.m. on Friday is uh, the Burnish Rack Panel in the main hall. So that is definitely something I'm definitely going to check out. I always like uh, seeing them uh, you know, um, uh, ga gather for a you know, panel and talk, uh, talk about you know, the Burnish Rack series and you know, answer questions and all that. So yeah. And um, I think at, let's see, at 10. Ah, uh, shoot, that was another thing. <laughs> 
And then, um, at 11, there's a Fuffapuff panel hangout thing. So, yeah, I also really like, you know, Fuffapuff, so I'll probably check that thing out. And then, at 11.30 p.m., it's more likely the premiere of the new Ponies the Anthology. So, or a, a more, more likely the, because I remember seeing something where they are going to release the new Ponies the Anthology of uh, this year. Or, some, or something like that. So, and I've always, you know, wanted to, you know, participate in Ponies the Anthology since you still you know, I have my own series called Pony Shorts where I do like a similar thing. But, of course, you know, the thing that less my ability, I can't do really do animations or stuff like that so you know it's kind of you know s simple shorts and whatnot but it's i i still like doing it so eh, I, I don't know if i be at least at this point i don't know be able to get in or whatever but yeah we'll see let's see and um and 12 12 30 in the morning um and saturday there's uh night of the living mad lips um uh, i might go with that but we'll just we'll just see how i'm feeling one that then actually around that time there's this thing called epic pony lip sync battle so that sounds pretty fun then um there's a couple things for um S or Pony Stand. I, I really do like you know SFM uh related content, so I might check one of these throughout the day, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see how I'm doing. Let's see. And let's, uh, okay, um and for Saturday around 11.30 uh, a.m., there's uh, Cutie Marks and Brandon, a social mythological identity creation among friends. So yeah, more like you know it's gonna talk about Cutie Marks and you know the um the uh, um the reasoning behind all that stuff. So yeah, I might check that out. And then, um, and then around, uh, around tw 12, 12 p.m. on uh, Saturday, there's like a, a Smash U or basically, you know, playing Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, um, there. So, yeah, I definitely really like Super Smash Bros. So, hopefully, you know, try to get a game with some people. Since, um, you know, of course, one, one of my favorite characters playing that is Sonic. So, I'm pretty good with them. So, yeah, we'll see, see how I do. Dude, if I'm able to play one that. Let's see. And then, uh, around, well, around 1 p.m. on Saturday, there's a... Uh, there's a um a little panel with Ormer Studios, which I I'm definitely a big fan of. You know, especially them try you know the uh, actually showing off their Fall Quest the game there. So more like they have like you no, know, uh, I don't know if like you know have a beta version or at least some type of alpha version of the game. I'm not too sure. More well, I guess we'll see how far they are in the game. Um, I also am a big fan of, like you know the music they've been uh, creating. Um, I, I can't remember the name of Moe, but I really like uh, you know uh, you know female singing the guy for a lot of their songs. I I, I definitely really like their songs. So eh, hopefully you can show us a new song or one that really still so, play. I know the band. I think the band is gonna be there. You know the people that make the music. So oh maybe it'll be uh, like one of the boring blues uh um, things or one that. So that'd be really cool to listen to. Let's see. Um. Oh, and then at 3 p.m. There's a uh, Yoga Rocks with Ingrid Nilsson. So, uh, who th those who know know, uh, Ingrid Nilsson is the voice actress for Mod Pie, uh, uh, Lime Pie, and of uh, the basically, you know, the other uh, members of the Pie family besides uh, Pinkie Pie, you know, the sisters. Yeah, she voices all of them, you know, mainly uh, Mod Pie. And, you know, in her free time, she's, she's actually a yoga instructor. So, yeah, I remember um, she did the same thing at MLP, MSP last year, and that was definitely a lot, a lot of fun doing that with her. So, yeah, I'm definitely trying my best to, you know, show up for this thing because uh, I definitely, again, like doing yoga stuff occasionally. Let's see, um, and then at uh, 4 p.m., there's a uh, TF2 announcement in our case, and of course, the, the, you guys see my reactions, you know, particularly to this series, uh, I definitely enjoy the hell of it, so it'll definitely be fun to, you know, uh, have, have the, you know, the creators uh, talk about it, so definitely check that out. Um, then around, around 6 in the evening on Saturday, there's a Who's, uh, Who's Line Is It Anyway, and I always lo love, you know, see, seeing the guys uh, playing playing this particular game. I know mainly it's uh, AC Race Fest, Black Griffin, Saber Spark, you know, uh, more likely Michelle Creeper showing up to play the game. And then I think it's usually, I don't know, uh, more likely it's a uh, final draft, you know, being the judge of this. It's always really fun to see all those shenanigans they all they do for, for that particular game. Uh, yeah, that's what they for there. Um, let's see. And they're just saying around 7 p.m. calls, you'll make your mark, help a new artist break through. Again, you'll um, kind of, uh, these these are spread cards that would help you know like get some tips on how I could prove myself. So I'm out show for that. Then 8:30, there's like two things going on, like an out an analyzing LP live uh, uh, thing, more like you know with the brain analysis showing up for that. And then the Broken Art panel, which I, of course I really like you know the artwork in the Phantom. So more than likely I might show up the analyze LP thing, but I know I know for this year they have like a art gallery. So hopefully that'll be a um. Uh, open throughout the weekend, so it's not just uh, a one-time thing. Hopefully, it's not just like at 8:30. That's kind of late for that, but 
Um, yeah, let's see how that goes. Let's see, and then, okay, depending on, um, the, how long that L analyzing, analyzing LP thing goes on, um, there's a, are you gonna change the game going on 9, so I guess that might last for, I don't know, I, I don't know, work this out later on. Let's see, you know, again, just to get at least an idea where I might be at BronyCon. Let's see, and then, um, 10.30, there's a digital painting in Adobe Photoshop. Um, I don't know. Like, I, you know, I tried, you know, do some artwork in Photoshop uh, one time. Um, it wasn't the best, so I could, I think this would definitely help me, you know, do some drawing in Photoshop. And then, um, also at the same time, this thing called Friendship is Manly, the Brony Fandom, and the Challenge of Masculinity. So, yeah, more like, you know, talk about, you know, um, you know, the, the males of the Brony Fandom tried to break the, you know, the stereotype for ma uh, guys try who's supposed to be manly and all that. So, I don't know, like, we'll see, see how that goes there. And then at 11.30, it's actually a freestyle art time. So I don't know if it's actually going to be a competition or just kind of a chill out time. Just do some drawing. So hopefully it's the latter. I just, you know, try to do some drawing in the one hour or whatever. Let's see. And then at uh, tw 12 a.m. on... Uh, yeah, 12 a.m. on Sunday, there's a Doctor Who's Adventures Ruby Lovely Pony Wony thing. So again, it's a Doctor Who's thing. So more like a show for that. Let's see. And then... um. And, and on s Sunday at 10 a.m., there's a Happy Boys, Healthy Bronies uh, thing going on. So, yeah, more likely, you know, let's give some, like, healthy tips and uh, stuff like that, and, you know, keep healthy. And, yeah, I was like, I'm trying to keep myself fit and won that. So, and, of course, yeah, like, yesterday I ran a few miles, and, of course, with work being pretty physical, I'm able to stay fit. And then, you know, occasionally I'll, I'll do some more running or go to the gym. So, yeah, it kind of also helps, you know, get some more tips on how to stay healthy and all that. Let's see, and that's it for that. Page. Eh, trying to get the next page here. Here we go. Let's see. And around uh 11:30 a.m. on Sunday, there's a pony. The ponies of Team Fortress panel go on. So of course, I'm a fan of both uh, LP and Team Fortress too. So more likely, I'll be that panel uh, for for sure since I like uh, both things. Let's see. And then at 12 and around 12 p.m. there's a um like a little thing for uh people playing uh Rocket League. I never actually got the chance to play a game, but I've seen plenty of you know let's play of the game. It looks hella fun. So hopefully I get, get a chance to you know play for the first time. When I, or you know my I might try to you know buy the game on um, uh pre pre soon at least uh, you know uh, practice before I actually you know play play against guys are more like a lot better than me. Let's see. And then at 1 p.m. there there is a after the fact live, more like a panel featuring Silver Quill. So hope for a lot of God, I, I'm definitely gonna um, uh, show up for that because I am really a huge fan of Silver Quill and his uh, work and whatnot. So of course, you know, it's, it's see, see me you know, react to a bunch of his videos, you know, reach a little a um, bit releasing a little little shorts of it, certain moments of his at effect series so yeah i'll definitely try to show up and then kind of it's kind of happening at the same time but you know still going on is the charity auction which i always really like to see you know especially when i went to lp msb it was always a lot of fun to you know see like see, you know see what facilities up for auction and then see how much people are uh auctioning for that facility i am so it's always a ton of fun to see that uh, there's definitely this one guy at LMB MSP who got like a ton of stuff and that went like you know thousand that was that he you know auctioned out for thousands of dollars and you know the preserve is I get and he kind of I think there was a certain point where you know it was five guys and the amount of stuff he got and then um I think it was final draft to ask how are you able to afford all this stuff and he kind of answered that his family you know uh, owns a casino as part of an any reservation like oh okay <laughs> of course you'll get a lot of money out of that so you know we'll see how the uh, share action goes at uh, break on this year hopefully be a ton of fun let's see that's about yeah, it's, I'm at the last page here. Um, and then around 2.30 on Sunday, there's uh, a Dear Princess Little reading. So, um, I don't I don't think I don't think I saw Nicole Alvarez uh, going to be there, but hopefully you'll know, be able you know write letters to Celeste or something. At least I'm, well, I'm thinking it's going to be or whatever. So, um, yeah, that, that should be kind of fun. Uh, see, that's like that's what I at least what I caught my eye at the moment. So, yeah. So yeah, if um, you know, guys been paying attention, more likely uh, what I just mentioned throughout this uh, 14 minute video, uh, more likely I'll be all the, all these panels or events, and, I'll, and of course um, throughout throughout the days I will be at the um, you know marketplace or whatever they call it, it's where you know they sell the merchandise, and at the art gallery, and yeah, more likely I'll be at the Boring Palooza uh, for, for, for both uh, Friday and Saturday, or of course depending on. Um, a time for you know all the um, evening events or uh, one that, 
And then, um, I don't know if I'll be, you know, go to too many, you know, the, um, autograph and things. Um, I, I don't know. I regret, you know, got signatures by Tavis St. Germain, Ingrid Nielsen. Um, uh, maybe... Maybe we're kind of cool. I, I don't know. We'll see how I do for your know, um uh, autographs and one that. So, uh, yeah. At least for now, that's all the areas I'm more like more likely to be at Froyocon. So again, first you know, attend and pay attention to what uh, all just said throughout this. So yeah. So hope I guess what what I'm seeing right now in the schedule, Froyocon looks gonna be a ton of fun, and I definitely can't wait to go there. Um, you know, starting July 8th. Of this year, which I believe, oh, let's see, uh, today is technically Sunday, so uh, I'm gonna try to open up my schedule on my computer here. Come on, you buddy. Okay, let's see. So let's see. So, so from Friday, so less than two weeks from now, Broadway Con is gonna be starting. So I definitely can't wait for that. So and yeah, I hope to see you guys out there, there too. We're both to about showing up. So hopefully, overall, be a really great time. So yeah, I really did not expect you know go out the slime for you know um uh for you know to talk about you know schedule one. But of course, hey, yeah, there is a lot of stuff going on BrodyCon this year. So at least yeah, uh, hopefully hopefully you guys get a deal where I'll be at and hope hopefully at least make um uh, make it to like a bunch of these events uh, this year. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes and hopefully it'll be a really fun time this year at BrodyCon. So overall, Sam's Bill. Hope you guys very soon. Bye.